Hi there, and welcome back to the Sleepy Pineapple. So today I have for you, I'm going to be making some snacks, vegan snacks. I have my very best friend in the whole world coming over tomorrow, and with her husband and my boyfriend will be there, and so I've decided to film what I'm going to be having for them to come over. So it's always nice to have snacks, obviously, when you have company coming over. And I'd been craving a couple things anyways, so I thought this was a perfect excuse to fulfill both my cravings and have something for when people come over. So that is what I am doing today. Now, the lighting might be a little bit dark. Sometimes I say that and then it ends up being okay. But I sort of taught this morning at 7. And then by the time I got home, I was so exhausted that after I ate breakfast, I kind of dozed off again for a little bit. So it's a bit later in the day. And, well, it's not too late. It's, it's not even noon yet. But it's later than I wanted it to be when I started this video because the light in the morning is much nicer in the kitchen. Um, so it might be a little dark, but that's okay. And it's also extremely hot today. It is going to be potentially a record-breaking heat wave today in the city. So I will also not be talking through too much. I'm going to film it a little different today so I can keep my air conditioner running, which happens to be quite loud, and it's hard to talk over. So that's what's going on today. I'm going to get started by showing you what I am making. So the first thing we're going to be making today is salt and vinegar, roasted chickpeas. The book is Oh She Glows by Angela Lydon. If you don't have this book, it's a great source for vegan recipes, so check that out. I absolutely love it. The only fault I have, though, is that the book doesn't actually stay open properly, so I always have to end up putting something on top of it to hold it steady. But for this you'll be needing uh, sea salt. I've got my gray sea salt here. And then olive oil, white vinegar, and the chickpeas. I got the blue menu, no added salt chickpeas, so that we don't have any extra salt, especially when we are adding our own. So that I'm actually going to start first because the chickpeas need to soak. Then, the next thing I will be making today is uh, roasted cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower bites. That's the word. That's what I'm trying to say. So for that, you need cauliflower. And then I've got my Earth Balance dairy-free butter. I've got veginase, hot sauce. I've got flour. I'm using oat flour because that's what I have. Unsweetened almond milk. You can use any kind of unsweetened milk that you like. Then we've got uh, fresh cracked pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, and paprika. And that will be the most delicious vegan cauliflower bites that you have ever had in your entire life. The recipe is from a place called hotforfoodblog.com and I will be making sure to link all of that below. I'm also going to be making some banana bread and for that I've got my trusty recipe from my stepmother. It is not vegan so I'm going to be substituting a few of the things like real butter and eggs for vegan alternatives. And then the last thing I'm going to be making, I almost forgot what I was doing, the last thing I'm going to be making are vegan gummy candies. I'm going to make strawberry kiwi flavor. So that is kind of an accumulation of some recipes that I found because they're all pretty much the same but I'm going to put my own ingredients in and pray for the best because I'm not sure if they will turn out. But we will find out a little bit later.
So my cherry isn't big enough for the, all of it. I always have to do this in two batches. So I'm going to set those aside. While that is there, I'm going to start on the sauce because you have to melt the butter in and then you have to make the dressing and I need to get some dill from the balcony. And yes, so that's going to happen next. And then I'll start on the gummies. First batch is done. It's taking way longer maybe than I expected. I realized everything was going into the oven and it is so hot in here so it's not working but <laughs> I've gotten the first batch done. I'm going to finish the second batch and I've started on the gummy bears which I'm making a bit of a mess but those are going to work out as soon as I'm done. And the next batch is ready to go into the oven. A little bit of a mess, but they're in there. I add some kiwi, we'll see how it turns out. First batch of chicken wings. I'm gonna actually eat a few of those and then package the rest up. The other batch went into the oven. Got my gelatin, not gelatin, it's agar agar flakes, uh, gummy bears. I mean pineapples I should say, strawberry kiwi flavored. So those are there. The dip for the wings are, is right here, sealed up, ready to go. I'm gonna have a few of these and then I'm gonna get myself ready. Really wanted to go for a swim today so I think that I will just finish up the last batch of chicken fingers. Or I keep calling them chicken fingers, they're buffalo wings cauliflower buffalo bites and then when I get back I'll finish up the chickpeas and everything else so those have been soaking pretty much done but um, we'll see how time goes because the pool closes uh, for the afternoon and I don't want to miss it so we will see how that goes So it's the next day, um, my friends are on their way, they're just about here, and I have finished what I want to serve them when they get here. Um, if they want snacks, it's going to be handy and ready to make. I don't know if we're going to be staying here right away or going out or 
whatever, but at least they'll have some snacks or when they get home later or in the morning or whatever, then they have the stuff to eat. So, we've got the cauliflower buffalo bites. These just need to be put back in the oven to crisp up before they get served. The vegan ranch dip that goes with them. I did not do the gummies. They did not turn out, so I opted to make a guacamole instead. So this is just avocado, lime juice, some sea salt, red pepper, um, tomato, and uh, I think I said avocado. Obviously there's avocado in there. Um, with that I have my way better snack. Simply sprouted sweet chili corn tortilla chips. These are amazing. So try them if you haven't. Then I've got the looks a little burnt in this. It's slightly burnt in a bit, but it's crispy on top, which is how I like it. So <laughs> just eat that part. Um, <laughs> the banana bread, it smelled delicious baking. I haven't tried it yet, but the texture feels good. And then we've got our salt and vinegar uh, roasted chickpeas, which I like. My boyfriend did not like them very much, but I do. <laughs> and so we'll serve those as well. I just put them in a little cup because I didn't have anything else to serve them. And yeah, that is what is getting served today. And now I need to go finish getting ready before they get here. So <laughs> I will see you next week for a new video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you want to see more. And I will link everything below, including my ebook, The Summer Plan, which is a seven day plan, uh, including food, recipes, and exercises. So if you haven't checked that out, there's a preview, I'll link that below and also my sleeping pineapple tote bag so all that will be linked below i hope to see you very soon and yes thank you bye so we're all ready to go out now and we're gonna have so much fun tonight it's my best friend ash Hi. and she <laughs> loved all the snacks that i made for her I so did. we're awesome. full and we're ready, ready to go <laughs> bye, bye.